Hi, greetings in Jesus name. Pointers along the way are brief Bible based messages I bring out, God willing, every Saturday dealing with practical aspects of the Christian life. I hope they will be a blessing to you. You can visit my website at www.c-n-c.org for my articles and books. This is pointer number 931 and it's called Wish, Hope, Faith. Think of a man wishing for a car and he doesn't have the money. He hopes he might win a lottery or someone would give him a gift. But then he hears a preacher saying, all things are possible to him who believes. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. And Jesus said to him, if you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Now he tries to make himself believe that he is going to get a car. What he has is only a wish. and he is hoping that he can get a car by believing it will happen making oneself believe that what he wishes for is going to happen is not faith a superficial reading of the words might give the impression that it is so simple but we realize that the one who has true faith has that assurance that what he hopes for will happen hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 now faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of things not seen can this man have the assurance except that he imagines he does based on a wrong understanding of the previous verse some people say I am praying for faith that I can be healed. They wish and hope for healing, but they are not sure. They could have prayed, Lord, please heal me, which would have been doctrinally sound. But to think that what they need is more faith so that when they have enough they will be able to get healed is to unconsciously in one's mind transfer the power for healing from God. to man's faith we ask god for healing because we believe in him and without this faith we cannot be pleasing to him on the contrary if we think that it is our faith that is going to achieve the healing that would be totally wrong we must also differentiate between believing that god is able to heal us and thinking he will whether he will heal depends on his sovereign will which he exercises according to his wisdom which at the moment we cannot always understand so when we know he has healed many in the bible and even around us we cannot guarantee he will do it for us we pray believing that he is able and also that he is good compassionate kind merciful etc but not really having faith that assures us he will heal us but then he reveals his will to some people that he is going to do what they ask for then they have the assurance of faith faith comes by hearing from god romans chapter 10 verse 17 so faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of christ What a lot of confusion there is among Christians on this subject. People have heard words such as your faith has made you well and according to your faith be it to you and thought that it is their faith that has the power. Some people go on to assert their faith by declaring words with their mouth. What they are not able to see here is that in effect they are making themselves gods who can make things happen by their faith and words this was not how christians used to pray till the new age teachings began to infiltrate the churches 
once we recognize that the final authority, power and sovereignty are with God, we must stop trying to pump up our faith and try to accomplish what we wish for. We must submit to God and pray to Him to grant us what we are asking for, if it pleases Him. Let us go back to, not my will, but yours be done, O Lord. May the Lord bless you in your life as you have listened to these words. Thank you.